My name is Robert Herring, and I uh, work with uh, for Womack Electric Supply. Uh, and we have uh, 19 branches. Uh, getting ready to open on 19th, actually. And uh, we have roughly 130-some employees. We actually do have more computers than we do employees. <laughs> Um, and, um, our, from our server environment, you know, we are virtualized and we, we run a, basically about 12 virtual machines on, uh, three physical, uh, hosts. Well, server virtualization, uh, at its very basic level is essentially running multiple operating systems on a single server. And if you look at your traditional physical server today, running one operating system and maybe an application or two, you'll see that uh, less than 10% of that, that uh, server's resources are currently being utilized. And so when you when you virtualize the server, you're, you're putting multiple operating systems on that single server, and those operating systems are running its respective applications, and you're better utilizing the, uh, the resources of that server versus if it was a, a, a standalone server with one, ser uh, one operating system on there. And there's um, other benefits that you get from virtualization as, as well, such as it's, you're not, you don't have to purchase as many physical servers to run all your applications. Uh, so there's cost savings on, on the side of uh, purchasing equipment. Uh, you reduce operating expenses as well, um, not only from just the simple fact of consuming less power because you have less uh, servers running, but also from uh, managing the, 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 the servers as well. Because with the virtualization software, it becomes much, much easier to manage all of your operating systems and, uh, and, and the applications and whatnot that would be running on them versus in a physical environment. <clears throat> and you also gain the ability to, uh, to recover from disasters much more efficiently and quickly than you would in a physical server environment. And... And uh, on top of that, you get to the flexibility to, to bring up uh, new operating systems and new applications much quicker in a virtual environment versus what you would traditionally have to do in a physical environment. But one of the things I wish I would have uh, probably had a little bit more knowledge of before getting really into virtualization is um, backups are handled a lot different in a virtual environment. Um, so you can't go in thinking that your traditional uh, backup solution for your physical servers you'll be able to continue to use in a virtual environment. Uh, you're going to need to spend a lot of time researching, researching the various backup solutions out there and, and how they will function in your virtual environment and with the applications that you're running. Uh, another thing that you will spend a lot of time on researching before you uh, decide to bring virtual servers into your uh, IT environment is the storage aspect. Uh, there are a lot of options out there when it comes to storage. It plays a very critical role in your virtual environment, and you want to make sure you, you make the right decision there. You want to make sure that you plan for future uh, growth so you, you have plenty of storage space to store what you currently run now and, and things that may come up in the future. Um, and because that's one of the great benefits of virtualization is it allows you to easily bring up multiple, uh, new operating systems and new applications quickly and deploy them quick and fast. But if you don't have the, the back-end stores to support that, then you're limiting yourself greatly. <laughs>